What's up guys? It would be windy on the day that I need to film, right? I guess I don't need to film, but I am. Um, let me sit you down. You're crooked, but potatoes. We didn't get near as many potatoes this year to plant as we did last year because we have so many left over. We still have, gosh, maybe a hundred pounds of potatoes if I'm just guessing. Um, <clears throat> last year we planted 50 pounds of potatoes. This year we're going to plant 30 pounds. And, um, I don't know if I showed you guys. I did on Instagram, but I probably didn't on YouTube. Wait, did I even say, hey guys, it's Bay Jam at Bigger Hill Farm. Probably not. But, um, I'm not sure if I showed you how we've been doing the garden this year. It's been a little bit different. Usually every year we, that looked a little dirty. We, um, like cultivate the garden all at one time and then we come in and start to plant we did not do that this year mainly because we haven't had time but what we've been doing has been working because i think it's easier on all of us so let me show you y'all already know we have the garlic and stuff planted there and we have some other things but now justin cultivated these beds for potatoes and so basically what we're doing differently is we're doing a section at a time um We'll probably continue to do that, except the next section we need is like all of the garden. <laughs> so, I don't know, we'll just have to do it slow. If I can be like, hey, Justin, we need this next part done, it's better than me being like, we need everything done because he's doing an amazing job. Um, he's been like cultivating the beds, getting them all ready, adding the compost, and then I come and plant and harvest and preserve, and it's just been working out. I don't know if that's how it will go all the time, but I'm really liking it right now because it's not canning season, so it's like I have a break. But when it's canning season, he'll probably have a break, and then I won't. Except I'm sure he'll help me harvest because, um, you know, harvesting's fun. So let's plant these potatoes okay yes i am out here in a dress not a dress a skirt this morning we had to take teddykins to the vet to get snippity snipped and so i'm still in a skirt so these are the sea potatoes we got they are lasota lasota red potatoes i don't think these are the ones we got last year you've never planted a potato let me show you how to do it because it's very easy can you see this yeah okay so I've got one right here I'm gonna go about a foot apart okay I'm gonna dig down about four inches into the soil and I'm gonna grab a seed potato and they've got these little eyes on them and I'm gonna plant that eye pointing up and just cover it up and that's it. So what I'll do real quick to make sure I know where everything's going is I'm going to set these out before I put them in the ground. Okay, so one thing I want to say. I just sat in dirt. Great. Um, if you are not a big gardener but you like kind of dabble with homesteading or dabble with gardening or you know you plant a couple of tomatoes here and there. If you listen to anything I say, plant potatoes, especially this year. Plant potatoes. I don't care if they're sweet potatoes or regular potatoes. You need to plant some carbs. You need to have access to calories that you don't have to go through a middleman in, especially when times are a little crazy and you don't know what to expect for the future. Just plant some potatoes. They're easy. They're so easy. Put them in the ground. You water them. That's it. You walk away. That's it. Um, sweet potatoes. Go back and watch my sweet potato videos. You plant the slip. You plant the little green plant. Um, those will start being available probably late April, March. If you're in a colder climate, June. Um, if you, if it's cold still in June where you live, you probably cannot plant sweet potatoes. So just go with the regular ones. I'm going about a foot apart on both sides. So I'm here, I'm here, and then I'm here, and I'm here. And 
that's it. We are just planting these babies. We want to grow some food, some carbs. You can cut these, okay? Um, these little ones, they're not worth cutting. If you cut them, if you cut them, you got to wait for them to scab up, which will take like two to three days. <laughs> um, I have never had as good of a crop cutting my potatoes. My potatoes are always bigger and I have more if I don't cut them. So you can see all my potatoes are laid out. I did not measure. I measured with my heart and we're good. Now we're gonna plant these babies. In the ground they go. And I don't do anything to these potatoes. Um, never have. I just plant them in there. If it's real weedy, I might go weed them, but the cool thing about potatoes is um, they, what am I trying to say? They uh, they get so much foliage, they kind of shade out any weeds. Now, there's two th two pests that I've, I've dealt with with potatoes. The first one is slugs. With slugs, I put out little dishes of beer in the aisle and um, or in my row hidden under the leaves. The slugs love it. They, they, I don't know, they get drunk and die. It kills them. I don't know. I haven't looked up the science. Beer. And last year, for the first time over there, I got potato beetles. Had never had them before. Um, so we used duct tape to get them off the leaves. And I got some kind of organic Dr. Bahama. I don't know. Some kind of organic spray and it seemed to work. Um, if you get them when they're real little, when they've attached to the leaf, they look kind of squirmy and gooey and weird. You can tell when they're attached to the leaf that they're not a um, squash bug larva. There's something else. They're bigger and red, I think it was. It's either red or yellow. I think it was red. You can tell it's something funky and it shouldn't be there. Get you some duct tape and duct tape all those little eggs off before they hatch. And that is your best bet as far as eradicating them. All right, if you're minding your own business, planting these potatoes and you find this thing, girl, you better pull that up and throw that away. This is a Bermuda root and it is the bane of my gardening existence. So that Bermuda grass, it is like cows love it. And this property that we live on actually used to be like all one parcel, like hundreds and hundreds of acres. And they had cows on it. And when we bought it, our cow barn, that was like the original cow barn. Well, they had Bermuda everywhere. It's, it's everywhere out here. That's what the grass is. And cows love it. But for gardening, it chokes out your plants. So I hate it. It's pretty for grass, but it's not pretty in my garden. It's super windy. I'm trying to like hold my hand over the phone so you don't hear all the wind. But we got them all planted. Um, when Justin originally went to get potatoes, I was like, get 35 pounds of potatoes. But we had to get it in increments of 10. If we had five more pounds, it would have filled up all of these rows perfectly. But we have about half a row left. But that's awesome because we will definitely put something else in there. You can see we have a lot more left of the garden to cultivate but i'm really glad that we got these potatoes in now i'm just gonna hook that little yellow sprinkler right there up then i'm gonna water these for quite a while um, to really saturate the soil so um if you haven't planted potatoes yet guys plant your potatoes you need to okay thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye